Hi everyone, Clue Small Designs here, and this is the inbox review slash pre-build for the Dragon 148th scale Apollo 11 Lunar Approach. Now, it is Apollo 11, but I might call it something else like Apollo 13 or something else, but um, this is the official, you know, box art. Now, I'm not too sure why there's not too much out there on the internet as far as, um, you know, building of this model kit. I'm not too sure if it's a lemon of a kit or... Uh, if it's just too expensive, because I know I paid a heavy price for this one, or it's just not of any interest to anyone. So I'm not too sure why that's just not out there. Um, you know, leave a, a comment if you if you wish or if you know why. There's not too many builds of this uh, a kit out there, but um, I'm interested. So here it is. So let's have a look at the parts here, guys. Uh, I put a ruler down just so it gives you an idea of um, you know relative size. But um, let's have a look at some of the parts. Uh, it's not really in order. I'll show you the instructions after and uh, some of the decals. But um, I guess not in any specific order. Let's just have a look-see. Now, the command module, it's um, not as detailed as I had hoped. And uh, looking through the parts, there's no other parts really to go on there but some some handles and a few, you know, doodads. But... Um, I was really hoping that like the windows and such would be um, windows, not just molded. And I was thinking, you know, that's fine. I can maybe cut some windows out and, um, you know, add my own, you know, parts and such. But they got like a, a god awful, you know, post right through where a window would be on the hatch. So I'm really wondering what I'm going to do there. Um, kind of sad engineering on, on Dragon's part. You know, maybe they could have had the posts, you know, here and here instead. And then that wouldn't obstruct the window. But maybe that's something I can work around. But, the, you know, the details is there. So it's... It's definitely nice. So I'm going to probably have to do a little bit of scratch building and such just to get more detail in there. And then the back of the service module, the, the engine bell right here. That's what little stick out here. That's really nice. I'm not too sure where some of these other parts go. I'll figure it out as I go. I'm not, I mean, I'm interested in, you know, in the genre. But, um, you know, it's definitely going to take a little bit of learning on my part to figure out where everything goes. Like the, the high gain antenna, you know, that's... Uh, photo etch parts that's kind of cool i like how they did that right there and then the lunar module that's kind of cool i'm not usually a big fan of molded in parts i you know mentioned that in my other builds like when you do a fire extinguisher and it's molded in i hate that but this is kind of cool i actually like that you know i think it looks a little bit more professional i think like when you're sticking foil on it almost looks like a toy but when it's like this and you have to paint it on, it almost looks like like a die cast or, you know, if you know what I mean, right? So if you're painting this gold, I think it's going to look a little more professional, like a desk model, that kind of thing. So I kind of like that. The detail is definitely there. You can see my hand, like this is going to be a big model. So I really like that. And going to other other parts there, there's the bottom of the limb. Again, with the windows, right? Like the monogram kit, which I have, and I'll be, I will be building. Um, you know, those windows are are cut out. And then I think, again, they got those posts right where the windows are, kind of. So I don't know if I'll be cutting those out or working around it. We'll see. Depends on how far I want to go with this. Uh, that would be kind of cool lit up. So we'll see. We'll see how far I wanna I wanna work with this. We've never built a space model on the channel, so and there we go. There's some thrusters and such. And there's some more parts right here. I assume this looks like lunar module stuff. Now, when I say Apollo 13, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, have this panel removed because on the service module, it looks like you can, 
you know, have panels removed. There's no interior stuff, right? But um, it'd be kind of cool to scratch build some interior stuff. You know, auction bottles, things like that. But I mean, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to build Apollo 11, right? It could be any one of them. And this is just a carbon copy. You get two ladders. In case you break one, because I'm pretty sure they just, yeah, they just had the one ladder. So some more lunar module stuff. And same with this one here, you get a carbon copy. I remember building the monogram uh, lunar module and stuff and the gold foil. And uh, you had to use a lot of extra adhesive just for the gold stuff to uh, stick down. And um, when I start building the uh, the monogram one, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might just use putty and simulate how they did here. Anyway, those parts look cool. Hopefully it goes together nice. And we've got more lunar module parts. It almost looks like it goes together just by, you know, sticking the, you know, holes, pegs and holes. Definitely doesn't look like a hard kit, that's for sure. And then, of course, the display stand. Just move things around. We've got a nice, um, this is metal. And then it fits like that. And the model sits on top of there. And that's what I mean. If you get like a mission patch or something, put a mission patch there. I'm not too sure why this is grooved. You know, if you get half a mission patch or something, put it there. It just was Apollo 13 or, or something. Now, the decals that came with the kit, like, that's all you got. That's not much there. So when I bought this, I found this on eBay. The gentleman that was selling it. He came with these guys right here. Parts. So that was, that's what interested me in buying this. I thought, cool, right? You get a lot more in here. So it was made by uh, and designed by that gentleman there. So I thought, yeah, let's go with that. It's all in one shot. And then the instructions, of course. You get a parts call out. And then that's pretty much it. Right, there's not much there. I mean, I suppose someone could if they didn't really want to build the whole kit. They want to do like a Sea King with the, the command module in the water, you know, in 148th scale, you could do it that way, right? And then uh, the lunar module, I guess it would be kind of useless because this the legs are folded. But yeah, there you go. I mean, that's, that's the instruction. So it's going to be fairly easy to build I guess the hard part would come in painting but um, not too many colors there but there we go that's the the inbox review um, you know there there's the parts if you're interested in in doing this there's a 178th or 172nd scale of this kit I would assume it's the same thing just smaller um, so there's your your look at the 148th scale we're going to get started on this one soon. I'm excited to do this one, as well as the monogram uh, lunar landing. Um, that'll be a fun one. I'm going to change that one up a bit. But uh, there, there's your look at this guy here. We're going to start this one very soon, like I said. Uh, probably do Apollo 13 or something. Maybe we can change a few things up. Uh, maybe, like I said, have that panel open. Maybe have the windows open. No promises on that one, though. I don't want to screw this kit up. I spent a lot of money on it. But um, there you go. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching.